What up, YouTube? This is Steven, and I'm back with some news regarding Miss Utana Hikaru. Well, kind of, sort of. Um, it's not really anything like any type of an update in regards to her, um, you know, perpetual hiatus or her upcoming release or anything like that. Um, but this is an article that Arama Japan did, and I thought it was interesting. And I would like to share it with you guys and possibly get you, you know, get your opinions on it. <clears throat> so I'll read the article. It's pretty short and straight to the point. And I'll give my thoughts and opinions. So here I go. Utana Hikaru's best songs as ranked by Goo Rankings. And by the way, I don't, I don't know what Goo Rankings is. Um, if any of you guys know, hey, feel free to let me know. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And by the way, this is from aramajapan.com. So here we go. There were recently rumors that Tane Hikaru would be making her return to the music industry this coming spring. However, those rumors have been since proven false. Ain't that the truth? Like her dad shot those rumors down and her like record label people. So yeah. <clears throat> But that doesn't mean she's not coming back, Utana Tots. So, you know, get off the ledge. Get off the ledge. Trust me. Just hang in there. She's coming back. <clears throat> All right, next. In the fever, well, sorry, fever, around her supposed return, Goo asked readers to list what they thought her best songs were. So, here we go. And by the way, they list the songs going from like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. But I'm going to do it as a countdown to make it more, you know, um, suspenseful. So, here we go. <clears throat> and they also mention the number of votes, but they don't mention the number of total votes. Like how much this took, like how many votes were cast in total. Um, just putting that out there. But here we go. All right. Number 10, wait and see. Risk. I like squiggly, squiggly lines there. Um, I'm not even sure if I heard this song or not. Maybe. I'm not sure. <clears throat> to keep it real, I'm not like a super duper Utada Hikaru fan, but I do know some of her stuff. You know. <clears throat> um... But yeah, I think that's like one of her, you know, her like old school songs, you know, <clears throat> maybe. All right. Number nine, Bokuwa Kuma. And that received 41 votes, while the previous song I mentioned received 40 votes. <clears throat> and I've never even heard of this song. Uh, song number eight, Colors. Anybody? I think I may have did a lyrical analysis about Colors before possibly. Um, traveling is the next song. Um, Colors received 45 votes and Traveling received 71 votes. Uh, Sakura Drops received 74 votes at number 6. <clears throat> um, and I like the music video. I think the music video for Secure Drops is really interesting. I think that the song is interesting as well. And I believe there's an English version of the song that Disney used. And um, I'm not sure. Like, I've heard some rumors or stuff like, you know, Disney never paid Utada for what she did for them or something like that. As far as, like, the song is concerned. I don't know. That's what I heard. <clears throat> Number five, Flavor of Life. I've heard this song title thrown around a lot, you know, on the internet, but I never listened to this song. Hmm. But I do know of the song. Uh, and it received 89 votes. Um, number four, Can You Keep a Secret? Received 96 votes. And I have done a lyrical analysis of this song, and it's cool, you know. <clears throat> uh, song number three, He... Hikari received 97 votes. And I think Hikari 
might be the Japanese version of the Kingdom Hearts theme song, I think. Where she's like, please, oh baby, baby, don't leave. You know, something like that, I think. Or either it's simple and clean. One of the two. <clears throat> um, number two is, it's automatic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And it received 249 votes. And, hmm, I'm kind of, it's a little interesting that a lot of people are going for, like, the old school Utada. Because <clears throat> I think Automatic was probably from, like, her first album, I think. And she has a part two to Automatic on, I believe, um, this is the one, her English language album as well. All right, and the number one song that you Utada Tots voted for as her best song is, can you guess? First Love. Oh, oh, you might. When she's on like in the club and looking all sad and lonely. Well, not sad and lonely, but she, you know, looking a little depressed and she's like, you will always be my love, my first love. I guess he will because you can't you can't just have like fifty first loves, you know. <clears throat> but hey, it's that guy's loss, Utada, because like, you know, look at what you accomplished for yourself. Now let's go let's turn to him and see what he accomplished for himself. Is it the same or you know, the same or better than what you got? Nah, I don't think so. <clears throat> okay, so this is a good list for people who are just getting it to Utada Hikaru to kind of go for and like, okay, let me look at, let me listen to this song, listen to that song, etc. It's a little strange. It well, it might seem a little strange for some of you Utada Tots out there, but I'm kind of more so lean towards her English language songs for some reason. <clears throat> Than her Japanese language songs, although I do, you know, listen to both. Um, but I guess I lean more toward the English language Utana, maybe because it's in English. But I'm not a, a obviously I'm not opposed to listening to songs that are in the Japanese language. But I don't know. I guess I feel like maybe it's more accessible, and it's there. So let me listen to it, maybe. <clears throat> But um, let me list some of my favorite Utada Hikaru songs in no particular order, by the way. Um, let's see. Um, Tippy Toe. I like Tippy Toe, although it gets a little repetitive towards the end, a little weird. It comes from the Exodus album, and is, you know, a lot of people label that album as an experimental album. Um, but I like the song because Utada, she is, she's kind of like, being bold and daring and a little edgy and going against, you know, social norms. Because usually when we think about cheating, and usually when you hear about cheating in a song, it's usually from a guy's perspective. And if it is from a female's perspective, you know, it's usually in a sense of like, oh, I shouldn't do this. But Utana's like, you know, bump that, I'm going to get mine, and I'm going to enjoy this sweet interlude, you know. Pray that they don't hear you. Now let me see you dance on your tippy toes. You know. <clears throat> um, let's see. Another song. I think that hmm. Let's see. Poppin'. I like that song. Uh it's from This Is the One. I like that song. It's really well, it's poppin'. But um I like Utana's attitude in it and she's kind of being a bit more sexual in the song and I do like that Utada is you know she tries something different because usually Utada isn't really about like sexy and being seductive and things like that <clears throat> you know but you know she wanted to you know kind of like express Maybe not her erotic eroticism, but maybe express her sexuality through song, and as well, kind of you know, 
take a little tongue and cheek jabs at maybe dudes like you know we get into the club for free you know something like that and we don't buy drinks or something like that <clears throat> um the workout is a really interesting song as well i like the beat with it although the lyrics to me are a bit like very suggestive like suggestive you know i'm not quite sure if this is like some type of a like workout like oh you know we are you know doing jumping jacks and um lifting weights type of workout or like maybe workout in like another type of way you know what i'm saying but it's interesting and I know that some of you Tata Tots probably think I'm, you know, you know, committing blasphemy in the house of Utada, but I kind of actually like Easy Breezy, um, even though it's kind of weird, not weird, it's, well, it's not weird, but it's a bit odd, you know, <clears throat> that wasn't what I expected her to debut in the American slash international music market with, um, but it is sort of like a... A fun song, you know, like I'm easy breezy. Well, wait a minute. It's like you're easy breezy and I'm Japanese. You know, and <clears throat> I understand why why it wasn't a bigger hit, you know. Um, but I do think it's it is definitely one of her most interesting songs. And, you know, songs that kind of stand out in her discography, you know. Another song um, that is a Japanese language song, um, Time Will Tell. I think that's a pretty cool song. Um, like, Time Will Tell. But I kind of wish she would have, you know, did it more so as a, like a, maybe like an R&B love song type of thing versus like, you know, Time Will Tell if like, um, I think it was about her goals and dreams, maybe. The video was kind of cheap, though. Um, but I think it's a cool song, you know. And honorable mention definitely goes out to um, Come Back to Me. Um, I think that's a pretty cool song. Um, that's probably what she should have debuted with over say easy breezy um but then again i think that come back to me might have been a little bit too like like it kind of lacks individuality in a sea of other songs in the international music market um, but i think it's um a good song but, you know, last but not least, um, the Kingdom Hearts theme song, you know? I think that was actually the first Utana song that I heard. And I heard it before I even, like, I heard it, and then years later I found out who the artist was. Um, <clears throat> you know, I do re definitely remember that song. It probably came out when I was, like, maybe in ninth grade in high school. Um, and I do like that song, which is like, please, oh baby, baby, don't leave. And I think that's probably her most known song in like the Western hemisphere. People probably don't know who Tata Hikaru is, but they know the song, you know. But hey, what are your favorite Tata Hikaru songs? Feel free to let me know. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback, your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. Into the next news article analysis. Adios and goodbye for now. And, and by the way, this is definitely um, this is definitely like filler on Arama Japan's part. Um, you know, just trying to kind of like because they know people are checking for Utada. Hikaru news, especially at this moment. Um, so yeah, um, filler, and I, you know, use their filler. So I'm doing filler as well, you know. 
But I hope you enjoyed the filler. You know, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, like when you're listening to album tracks, you know, sometimes, you know, this is songs, like some songs, you know, the singles, and then it's the album stuff that is filler stuff usually. But it's good. You know, a lot of times it's good. You know? So I hope you enjoyed this filler stuff. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.